Threshold, CC Threshold, and CC Threshold RGB can all be found underneath the Stylize category. We drop that down, and we have Threshold right down here. And if I drag this out onto the layer of the pineapple, you can see that it just eliminates all of the color channels, completely crushes the contrast, and leaves us with only pure white or pure black pixels. The only control we have is the level, which essentially just shifts the luminance values that it's basing this threshold view on. So I can turn this down to get to more of the shadows of the image, or I can turn it up to really crush everything and only leave the highlights. I could do the exact same thing using the levels effect. If I bring that out combined with the tint effect to remove all of the color, and I could just crush the blacks really far this way. I could crush the whites this way as well. And if I put both of these values to 128 and shift that tint effect to the top of the stack, it's gonna look very similar to what the threshold effect does. The benefit of doing it this way is that I can dial this back so it's not so extreme. It's a little bit more detailed and softer than the threshold effect. All right, now let's take a look at the other threshold effects. We have CC Threshold, which by default does the exact same thing. It crushes the blacks and the whites so that we're left with just pure white or pure black pixels. We have a Threshold slider right here that does the same thing as before, but we have the added ability to change the channel that it's basing this on. Currently, it's set to Luminance, but we could change this to RGB, and we're left with a color image where each channel, red, green, and blue, are all individually getting that threshold effect applied. Again, I can adjust this threshold slider. Or we can change a channel to saturation, which gives us no color, but it's basing that threshold on the saturation of the image rather than the luminance or the color values. And we can even change it to alpha, which won't do anything on this photo, but if I bring in something that has alpha to it, like my logo right here, add the CC threshold, change it to alpha, our color comes back. Now, this is a very crisp, clean vector image, so there's no variance in alpha. It's just either there or it's not. So to make this a little bit more apparent, I'm gonna add the fast box blur effect just before to give me some semi-transparent pixels. This is without the threshold effect applied. So I just have soft edges now with some semi-transparent pixels. I turn on that CC threshold, and because it's set to the alpha channel, it's basically softening out all of that alpha. It's applying the threshold to the alpha, so I'm back to just 100% transparent or 100% opaque pixels, but it's giving me kind of a softened effect. These lines were already soft to begin with, but if I increase the blur, you can see that that's really blobbing everything out as I adjust that threshold. If I change this back to, say, the luminance, I have the ability to invert this on the CC threshold effect, as well as a blend it with the original. So that's all there is to CC Threshold. And finally, we have the CC Threshold RGB effect, which again does something very similar, but this time it breaks it up into three separate controls for the red, green, and blue. So this effect is basing it purely on the RGB channels, not the luminance, not the saturation, or the alpha, and it's giving us controls for each color channel individually, allowing us to dial that in and make something very crazy if we want, invert any one of the channels or all three, as well as blend with the original. And that's all there is to the threshold effects in After Effects. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.